Hello, everybody. Pardon me if the energy doesn't sound quite up to par today. I am really tired. Still adjusting to my new schedule. Grateful, grateful, grateful to be busy, busy, busy. Because much of the last six months, I was not busy. And I didn't care for it. So I need to just get to bed a little bit earlier and I'll be I'll be in good shape. So today are is two of my all-time favorite people, celebrities, sports figures, whatever, birthday. And you hear me talk about Alvin Davis all the time. Matter of fact, I never put away my recollection collection back there. And I have several of those different um different different cards, but um Alvin Davis, uh September 9th. The other person, and because I don't talk about music a lot, you guys don't really necessarily know my tastes, but uh, Otis Redding, who um, died very young but was on his way to becoming an absolute legend. He's a legend anyway, but he um most famous for sitting on the dock of the bay, which doesn't really sound anything like the rest of his music, but that's fine. Um Anyway, if you if you appreciate old soul, you you probably already know who he is. But uh, I have a lot of his. At one point, I had every, everything he'd ever recorded on CD, and then they kept every year they come out with some new live thing or uh, collection or whatever, and I sort of lost track. And then when I switched over to vinyl, I think I have like three or four things now on vinyl of his, and just put it on every once in a while when I want to remember. Great, great entertainer and and singer and um person just from what i understand died died very young in a plane crash and um you know they call james brown the godfather of soul but the title easily would have gone to otis had he uh not died so young so today uh i'm not going to show a single autograph other than that ad that's still in the background there um I just wanted to show off. I've sort of been getting some unsigned stuff in, and I just sort of made a pile here on my desk and figure we'll just go over those all in one shot and kind of all over the board with these. I mean, some are set needs and some are just things that I just wanted to pick up. And I thought it'd be a good time to just sort of go over them. And hopefully you can appreciate them as much as I do. I'm trying to be uh, like kind of safe with my purchases because I know we're in like a boom right now. And I don't want to, I don't want to overpay for something, so I'm really just looking at deals. And if I see something that's a deal, well, then I'll pick it up. So uh, first off, I got some '64s here. Uh, this came in today. This nice Gil Hodges. It's a high number for the '64 set, and pretty good shape. A little centering problem there, but um, high number. 547 and I was happy to get that I think that was about 12 bucks delivered very thrilled with that one this one was really cheap this one was four four to my door and it said it was poor shape poor condition there was no skin of the back and I thought man how is this thing in poor condition I'm gonna cut myself on the corners of this thing and got looking at it when I got home, or when I got it, and somebody added their own little stats. I don't know if that's going to pick that up, but yeah, there you can see, and very lightly in pencil. And that does not bother me one bit. I mean, these are, about half the set is signed, and then I'm building the rest of the set around the signed set. And so those are two, obviously, I'll never get signed. But really happy to really happy to add those to the to the binder. Um, yeah. So next card also got a great deal on it, but that's not I didn't buy it because it was a great deal. I bought it because I wanted it. Uh, this is a T two eighteen Frankie Neal. So T two eighteen for those that don't know, and I think I've showed some of these off before. I'll I'll drop a link here. Um, if I have, but it's really a mixed set where there's there's some boxers and then there's like rowers and roller skaters and there's like someone that's famous for walking and 
really kind of interesting, but it doesn't, there's no like, you know, baseball or, or whatever, but, um, I really like this set and there's four, there's actually four backs and I have, um, I grabbed my other Frankie Neal here. So this is the Mecca that I had and then I got the Hassan and there's two other backs that are really rare. Um, one says like, it's like Tripoli or something there. And then another one says like world class athletes or something like that. And if you go into, um, eBay and plug it in like it'll be pretty long odds that there'll even be one listed at all so that's how hard they are to find but uh Frankie Neal yeah I just love those T218s I have quite a few of the boxing um and there's a lot I don't have um the Jack Johnson's pretty expensive and there's two versions there's two variations and each with the with the four backs four known backs um, and so those may be cards that I, I never get, but I'm happy to happy to get one when I do get it. And um, yeah, I mean, this one's pretty clean. There's really no creases or anything and no paper loss, which is really mostly I just want to read the back. And I don't even mind if there's creasing on some of these. A couple of them I have are real beat up if you watch that, that other video. So this set, you know, I've been working on. This is the 1997 Bowman's Best International Refractor Preview. I think I got the whole name. And I've just been getting cards in over the last really year or so since I started decided to build this set. And this was the last one, so I'm done. The thing is, I don't actually have... I own all the cards. I don't have all the cards. Um, there's about six or seven that are in my ComC portfolio. And as you know, they can't really be shipped right now or, or whatever. I'm trying to get this out of here so we can see the glare of the refractor better. Um, so, yeah, um, this was the last card I needed for quite a while now. And there had been two listed for around 15 bucks on eBay for a long time. And I knew if I was patient, I would uh, somebody would list one and I would, get, I would get it a good deal. Sure enough, I got this for like four and a half, four and a half to my door. So even though he plays for, you know, that New York American League team, uh, really glad to finish off the set. And I, as I was building the set, I thought it'd be interesting, interesting to just jot down what I, what I paid for each card and did some real rough math before I went live here. Came out to about $76 for the, for the 20 card set. Of course, the uh, Griffey's a big card there, 40 bucks and... Frank Thomas was about 20 and the rest were all pretty reasonable. I just looked for, um, I looked for auctions and I looked for real cheap cards on, on com C. Some of them were under a buck. You know, you see down here, Bobby Abreu, Kareem Garcia, Todd Walker. And that's actually after I added in, you know, what it's going to cost to ship me. So that's still, this is all delivered 76 bucks. And when I finally get them all in, you know, I'll pull them out of the binder and we'll do a kind of a review of the of the set. But happy to finish that. So I got a shipping break on these next two cards when I got the Mo. And the shipping break was so significant, I just felt like I, I had to take advantage. And the guy has all sorts of cool refractors and he's got a lot of cool, uh, lots of shiny stuff. So I'm trying to get this... Next one out of the top loader here. It's kind of stuck. Um, anyway, you saw me get this guy in a TTM last week. I'm not going to be able to get it out. Uh, anyway, uh, 2001, I believe, Topps Gold Label. This is John Olrude. I think this is uh, class class two. There it is, numbered to six ninety nine. And um, if you don't have any cards from this set, it's kind of hard to tell, but... The nameplate down here is kind of like a kind of like a burlap. Oh, you can see it there. And then separating the nameplate from the field is like a stitching. It's really cool, really cool looking cards. And he also had the class one and class three of the same card. But I didn't want to you know spend a ton of money. So I I was I did get the Oli. And then 
whenever I can find a Wade Boggs, it's cool. I pick it up with the thought that I'll send it off, and now I have a box of like 20 Wade Boggs cards. But here we go with this cool finest moments. Uh, clearly, Boggs celebrating his 3000s career hit. At the time, he was a Tampa Bay Devil Ray. And there he is. Um, it was actually a home run. And I'm sure if I read the back of that, it would talk about how it was a home run. And he kissed home plate. For those of you that weren't uh, baseball fit, we're going to cover up our New York American League player. He's been exposed long enough. For those of you that haven't been around that long, he uh, hit his 3,000 career hit. And as he crossed home plate, he kissed home plate. So this was a 61 Dodgers team card. I figured I'd be able to TTM that to somebody that was real cheap on Sport Lots Auction. I got with it a Ray Culp. Uh, he signs, so I figured I'd get that out. And I got those cheap because I paid, was already paying shipping for this, probably one of my favorite cards of the of the whole video here, this 56 Wayne Terwilliger just... So many times I talk myself out of getting 56 cards, even though it's my favorite set ever. And just when I got the Jackie, I'm like, I'm supposed to enjoy myself. Why not get stuff I enjoy? Doesn't, I don't have to complete every set or whatever. And this one's really cool. Great action shot. Uh, no creases. Nothing like that. And um, yeah, really cool card. So, man, is this a mixed bag? There's vintage, there's refractors, there's stuff from from 1910. So, we did it all. We finished a set. Like I said, I won't be able to really show it to you probably for quite a while. But that's it. I am going to go take a nap. <laughs> or actually, probably go to bed. So, until next time, remember, we don't count subscribers. We count friends.